Hey, what's going on, y'all? Now today, I'm out in some nature. It is a more beautiful green scenery. It's been a bit of time since I filmed a video out here. But God's good son. So, here we are. Today's video is titled, Learn From Your Loss. If you can extract a lesson from your loss, you didn't really lose anything. In fact, rather the opposite. You gained something. I think a lot of times we see losing as a barrier or a hindrance to our success. When some would say, failure, losing, is a prerequisite to success. It's a necessary step to succeed. The one thing that separates winners and losers, because I think a lot of people have this misconception that winners never lose. The one thing that separates winners and losers is that winners extract a lesson from their loss so that they don't make the same mistake in the future. Whereas losers, when they lose, they fail to extract that lesson from their loss. And so when similar circumstances occur, they make the same mistakes. They haven't learned anything. They haven't learned how to be better. And so they fail time and time again. So when living in life, we're going to come across failure. We're going to come across loss. It's a necessary step to becoming who we are. And in that process, we have to be able to find the lesson inside the loss that will keep us from making it again, from repeating it. That is the way to growth. That is the way to overcoming your weaker self. The self that made the mistake, the loss in the first place. So let's get into some examples. Let's start off with something that I think is going to be completely relevant to most of the men following my channel. Semen retention. Relapsing. Those moments when your weakness, when your lower self takes over. And you find yourself wanting to bust a nut. And you caved to that. You lost. You took an L. Now you have to ask yourself, how do I keep this from happening in the future? How do I pre prevent this from occurring again? And so if you can learn from your loss, say, okay, well, what led me to relapsing? I let my horniness take over. Okay, well then, if, if as long as I can take a cold shower, Right before, I really feel that urge. Like, it's, when it's coming on, let me just take a cold shower. Let me just do a quick workout, get my blood pumping. Get my mind distracted and off for that task that I was about to engage in. If you can just distract yourself, then you have learned from your loss. If you, if you take that lesson and then apply it the next time, okay, well, then I'm feeling a little horny. You know, and even if you're about to be in bed, you know what I mean? You're about to fall asleep and you're feeling it coming on and you just want to bust with a crank one out. It's like, nah, I'm about to go take a cold shower. Now nah, I'm about to go hit 20 push-ups, get this blood flowing. I don't care. I'm just, I'm not going to let it happen. If you can apply that, you will win the next time your temptations come on you. A loser who doesn't learn that lesson is like, nah, I'll handle it next time. I, I have the inner strength. I, I'll just conquer it. What do you know? Next time that temptation comes on, they cave into it yet again. They can't help themselves most times. Because they didn't learn a lesson. They didn't try and figure out an alternative method to conquering their weakness. To conquering the part of themselves that lost in the first place. Think about um, with sports. Let's say track. You're running a race. Let's say um, this is just something for my runners out here. You apply a lot of that effort. You exert a lot of effort. You're running a 400. You exert a lot of effort in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to be faster than everyone else. And you exert all that effort. And you're past everyone. You're flying past them. But then as soon as you come to that 200, 300 mark, you start to dip. Your energy starts to go down. You can't keep the pace. Suddenly, people start passing you by. Now you're in second place, third place, fourth place. You're like, what? And you're trying to keep, you're trying to pick it up. You're trying to get your stamina back, but 
you burnt out all your energy. And so let's say you get fourth place. You lose lose the race. Really, I say second place is the first loser. So you got second place, you lost the race. But fourth place, you lose the race. In that case, a winner is going to be like, all right, I need to preserve my stamina in the very beginning so that I have some gas in the tank to exert at the very end. A loser is going to be like, man, that was some fucking bogus. I got them next time. That was just a fluke. I got them next time. <laughs> and the loser is going to lose again. And the winner, with their adapted strategy, is going to win. Because they have the ability, and now they learn the lesson that will give them the power to take the dub. So, if there's anything that you extract from this video, just remember, there's one thing that separates winners and losers. Learning from loss. A winner understands that if they learn from loss, they can succeed where they once failed. A loser fails to extract a lesson and so repeats the same mistakes that led them to their failure. Be a winners out here. You know, because again, a lot of people would, would even argue failure is a prerequisite to success. So if you want to find that true success, be okay with failing. Be okay with taking an L. But learn from it so that you don't make the same mistake in the future. All right. Take care, y'all. Peace.